Welcome um, to Psychic Tuesday, and I'm your guide, Bernice Bissell. Let's get started at the top. Um, we're going to talk about all 12 signs, sun, moon, and rising. And uh, you can listen to all three for your complete message. And so we're going to start with Aries. Hello, Aries. Sun, moon, rising. Um, excitement. Excitement about opportunities. Excitement about your work. Excitement about uh, things that could bubble up. This, this uh Full moon eclipse that we have going on in Pisces um, is pretty powerful in terms of maybe things that you were working on in the past coming up uh, that you're being tapped on the shoulder because of past endeavors, project work, or connections that you made. And so, Aries, this is going to be quite good. You can reconstruct your career, your identity. You're going to want to be bold and brand and you know, go get the facial, get your hair done. You want to be out there shining. Um, you might take glee in knowing that this opportunity is going to pop up for you. Maybe naysayers that you've had in the past, you could be like, uh, look at me, look at me shine. Or that, you know, that they, they hear your name in circles. And uh, I feel like it looks good on you, Aries. So uh, you can find that there's demands on you with this as well. So keep that in mind the next seven to 10 days for sure. Taurus, sun, moon rising, my little Tauruses. There could be um, a resurgence of your commitment, a resurgence, resurgence of your energy to your goals, your focus on yourself, your goals, those promises you've been making to yourself. You could have been let down by people or maybe, and it could have been mild. It didn't have to be big and heavy. It could be like, see, that's why people suck. Or I see, that's why this had happened. Don't, don't go to that mindset just yet, Tauruses. You could be pleasantly surprised by humanity as well, that uh, there could be a resurgence of your energy or commitment, forcing you to rely on yourself, forcing you to really just um, uh, take, Take ownership over your own happiness. And this is going to be big for you in that you're going to find you have a deep well of happiness. You're going to have a deep well of reserves there. Don't waste it on people who can't reciprocate. All right, Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Gemini. Um, this is going to be a time of um, be careful of other people's opinions. Try to form your own. Try to feel confident in your own opinion that there's concessions and negotiations and some back and forth with people. It could be property, business, people, work, where you're really having to be back and forth and following up and you could be liquidating, looking for goals of cash flow, looking at goals of having money flow to. And I feel like there's gonna be a lot of chatter, communications back and forth. I feel like you're willing to, and I'm going to say, hold your cards close to your chest. Don't let them know that you've got an ace in your hand. Don't let them know that you've got those or that you could be calling, you know, you could probably be bluffing, but keep, keep stone cold face and uh, keep your cards close to your chest that any of these negotiations are going to work out in your favor by knowing when, knowing when to do the ask, knowing to when to give your opinion, knowing when to just to trust. Um, and it could be quite good for you, but there could be back and forth. And I do think that it's going to be around your value being valued. You could be negotiating that value. And I feel like um, I think you're going to come out a winner as long as you don't put all your cards on the table right away. I feel like hold back a little bit. Let it counter. Give time for counter, counter offers, counter um, communications. Cancerians, sun, moon, rising. Oh, my little crabs. Festivities, fun, satisfaction with the completion of things. You might be at a time where uh, you're happy it's fall. You could be like, um, I guess if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you're happy it's spring. You're happy with the change of season, that you're seeing proof and evidence of you know efforts you've put out there contacts or things you've put out there hoping it's going to come back in you're going to find very serendipitous messages things are feeling very relevant people coming in your life opportunities people you're crossing paths with opportunities you're crossing paths with 
feel very serendipitous, very relevant, right people, right places, right timing. I feel like there is maybe a big uh, climax to a series of events you've been putting together or if the finalization of something where you're feeling like now I can settle in for some me time. And that feels pretty good there, Cancerians. Leo, sun, moon, rising. Oh, my little lions and lionesses. Um, rulership. I love that idea and that word for you for this next. It's about really stepping into that power of yours as a Leo, of being that authentic, gregarious um, people person that's able to connect and indulge in performing, indulge in being the funniest person in the room, being the most charming, being out there, being recognized, feeling good about that. This is gonna be a time of propriety for you, looking at where you're making money, where you can make some money. Maybe you get a little of this, a little of that, a one of here, a one of there, but you could be a bit in demand and you could be, very pleased about that, particularly of how it turns out in your pocketbook, how maybe your charms get you the freebie dessert, or maybe your charms get you out of a ticket. Maybe your charms um, help uh, solidify some financial uh, backing you might be needing there, Leo. So there's some good stuff. Maybe it's a good time to meet with the bank. Maybe it's a good time to meet with a planner um, or a recruiter. Virgo, sun, moon, rising for my little Virgos. Surprises. Boy, I know you don't like surprises, but these could be good ones. Whatever you've put out there, you'll be surprised that you'll get back. And all you've been asking is for a little reciprocity, Virgo, and you'll get it. I feel like um, you can see who's loyal to you. You can see who's, who's good guidance to listen to. You might be going to some experts in your field to really um, hunt out the right direction, place to go. They could be asking you to be part of their team uh, with your expertise because you know sales, you know your field, you know what you're doing, you know your job, and they could be coming to you to ask you to be part of that team. Um, you're going to be about, it's important to adhere to the rules right now. Don't speed, uh, don't uh, break any bylaws, don't. So it's like these persnickety, it's persnickety energy a little bit for Virgos, uh, being held to account to having to follow through or to, and if you've made any promises or said you're going to show up, just show up or just say no, one of the two. You will see progress, but I feel like you won't be able to get away with too much. I feel like you're going to have to kind of stick to the rules, stick to the game plan, stick to the plan, and have other people do the same as well. Because they could be all over the place, which will make you a little scattered yourself. Libra, sun, moon, rising. Boy, you got a new moon coming up that's really powerful. Reset in relationships, your identity, how you feel about yourself, commitments. Ooh, la la. Feels pretty good. You're going to be remembered. You're going to remember that people are going to say, you know, hey, you're going to be able to say, I told you so. Boy, oh boy, use that wisely, sprinkle that around a little bit. You're going to be like, I told you so. I told you so. I knew this would happen. I felt like um, the that what I said was going to be where it was. I feel like um, you're going to be approved, receive approvals, get an approval, get approved. Um, these are going to be... Um, this isn't the time for complacency for you, Libras. This isn't the time to kind of rest and sit around. I feel like you're, you're going to have to think a step ahead of people. You're going to think ahead of people. You're going to be um, kind of really taking pride in people say, boy, oh boy, how did you predict that? And it's because you did your homework. It's because you like, I showed up ready. And so that's going to be really quite good for you this next while. Libra paying off for you in a big way. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising. Boy, oh boy, your reputation, glory, your work, feeling like you were a conversation in the room before you walked in. <laughs> that could be good. That could be bad. Um, you're going to feel, I think, a bit protected um, under this energy. Your reputation, your work, how you've put yourself out there before will precede you. I feel like you could be recognizing your gifts, skills, and talents or being recognized for them and finding a pathway 
stay, hold the, hold your position, hold your faith in things. Don't lose your faith in your talent, skills, abilities, and your confidence, because I have a feeling people will be searching you out. People will be searching you out for your advice, opinion, your expertise, things that you're good at. You could be commissioned. You could be asked to represent. So this is a time that don't give up just yet. You're, you're going to be seen there, Scorpios. And this is you're just getting prepared. You're doing all the legwork necessary to launch. And your birthday is coming. That would be a great time to launch with your new moon. Sagittarians, sun, moon, rising, Sagittarius marriages, commitments, uh, money, discussions, balance, paying down bills, getting your financing in order. These are all really good things around you, Sagittarians, uh, looking at where you're contributing money, where you're bleeding money, where who's contributing to your finances. So this is all great things. This is, um, if you can harness this energy, it'll be perpetual. So anything you invest, anything that you um, buy long-term. So no short-term fashion, short-term technology, short-term technology, invest in the quality of something because it's gonna come back to you tenfold or last or endure the distance that you need. And this is anytime you invest right now is going to pay off in good ways over the next two years, very much so. Capricorn, sun, moon rising. Boy, oh boy, this is a time where your stability, your reasonableness, you've got Pluto retrograde, the final degrees of your sign of completion. Um, this is about, um, you're going to deal with people's psychology or the psychology of things. You might find you're, you're one up on a few people around you, able to predict um, people's behavior, the organization. Um, you're going to come across as far more gracious because you're able to anticipate the psychology of people. You might find that um, anytime you're delayed or finding yourself in retrospect or finding yourself um, feeling a bit like you're standing still, know that you're being given space, you're being given time to sort of process and let things catch up to you that you're going through a massive transformation in um, the last, uh, if you're old enough, 22 years of your life, and that your power is going to shift to things you value. What is that, Capricorn? What is it about your values um, and that you're able to work? And maybe it's your, your ability to communicate, be creative, bring your career to a really meaningful, because it's about meaning for you, Capricorn. This is really not about your purpose. It's about deepening your meaning and how you find meaning in things, okay? Okay, next, um, we've got uh, Aquarian, sun, moon, rising. Um, you know, new new birthday, new year, new you. This is going to be the time where you're really regrouping, getting thing, your house in order, getting things organized, organize your closets, clean out your clothes, uh, be, you know, minimize um, things that maybe make you feel anxious, just have them lay around, feels cluttered. This is a time to really get sorted and organized because come your birthday with Pluto showing up in your sign, this is a new time for you to really step forward into the next year and the next 20 years. But this next year for you is really about finding your power in your community, finding your power in who you serve, where you are, how you're able to participate, how you're recognized in your own community, your locale and where you live. I feel like it's also a time where you might want to take classes, courses, learn, read, expand your mind and explore new thought trains. Um, uh, and, and that could be of the sciences and technologies um, and artistic pursuits as well. Pisces, boy, oh boy, the whole thing about you, you've got that North Node, you've got this eclipse, you've got two planets retrograde, you've got Juno, um, an asteroid sort of mucking about in your, in your energy and, um, you know, this is a time where you are really reviewing who's committed to, who's not, who's who's being able to serve, who's being able to join you. You could be trying to get some dopamine rushes. You could be trying to find some excitement. You could be trying to find distractions. You're going to try to um, find some thrills. This is the time to really review about where you're wanting to go. And if you can imagine as you're sort of the, the bone air and that's the added energy is pulling back and you have a new trajectory coming about moving forward, Pisces, this is about really deciding about who that is, where that is. You could be deciding, selling your business, changing your trajectory, changing your work, changing 
um, your purpose and direction. You might have been questioning your confidence around that. And I feel like you're going to be able to really move forward in anything that you can get your name out in the public, your name out in in that arena, social medias, medias, pictures, communications are going to really prove very beneficial for you as a Pisces. Okay, you can find me at BerniceBissonPsychic.com. Uh, I'm here on A1R Psychic Radio and Moonstruck Television every Tuesday for Psychic Tuesday. And let's get to it. I think I have a caller. I've got uh, Carrie in Melbourne, Air, Australia. Carrie, how can I help you today? I'm hi. I just want to, anything general that comes up or comes into your mind? I would love to. Let's do it. Let's look at what's going around in your world, your life. Um, what's the day and month of your birthday? 29th of April. Is that 29th of April? Is that what I heard? Yes. Thank you. 29th of April, my very beginning of Taurus, that first week in, your, in Canada, your springtime. Uh, for us, and um, the beginning of beautiful Taurus season, which is really around, I find, um, renewal, resurgence, re-energizing. Uh, and with the planet Uranus in your sign, um, you might be saying, boy, I had enough of that, B. I've had enough of um, unexpected elements. And I will say this to you. I feel like you have stabilizing moments coming, even starting December and moving all the way into next year. And you'll find some stabilizing moments in a few ways. One is going to be something around your transportation, your uh, local community transportation, how you're getting around. There's something very stabilizing for you um, or reliable. Um, you're going to find that um, people's demands on you or people needing you in places, different places at the same time, needing you to organize, manage, coordinate, support is going to show up pretty strong uh, this next now and this next 18 months even where you could have to um, provide supports to, provide care to, provide um, these things to people around you. And I, and I feel like what feels, it could feel a bit obligatory, like you'd have to make commitments, a bit obligatory, like you're being obligated. And um, it doesn't feel like a job. It feels like it would be more impersonal, uh, more in your personal world. I do feel like uh, there is something very much about <sighs> with the care of this, I'm going to say a family or, or more in a personal realm, there's also unexpected news popping up around celebrations that in the next, within two years, and I'm going to start right now, there is some celebration around um, education, a graduation, education, a completion, um, celebrations that will come up where people are dressed pretty fancy, like a wedding, um, some celebrations coming around that. I feel like the first one you're going to hear about certainly within a year. And it, I, I do think that um, there is, I do think it's like a younger adult wedding or celebration that way. And it feels quite joyous. It feels like, um, and you know, what's so ironic is that where there's one, there's more. It feels that you could be presiding, you could be part of, you could, you, it could be um, a series of celebrations that you're part of that certainly show up over this next year to two years, the next several months, four to seven months, there is um, a celebration popping up even in the next four to seven months that, that feels quite nice, quite nice in contrast to 
Um, you know, spirit keeps telling me because I keep hearing, you know, the the halls of um, the halls of maybe a hospital or care. You're like the, helping someone with their support or care, and that um, in good ways. I feel like you're there to support. It's not. Um, so I, I feel like there's something about, and it does feel like care more so than just a clinic. So there is something about that showing up even within this next two years. And I think you're very much appreciated or that the time that you're sort of putting effort into this would be very appreciated. There is about your income, your, your earnings, your income, your financial, you know, I'm going to back up. I have to stop for a second. I'm going to back up. You know, there's a man who already passed and I feel like he's talking about the care of a woman that shows up around you. It's not you per se. You're, you're a spring chicken. Um, it's, it's another woman around you. And I feel like, um, decisions, decisions. Um, and then all in good hands and if she's in good hands, if she's in your hands. Then there's the um, coming together, and you'll know certainly by July about um, what feels like a family celebration, and it feels quite, quite joyous. Um, mm -hmm. The last pieces I was going to just leave about your finance. There is something in terms of legal money or um, something that gets paid out to you that it's not a winning, um, I wish you won money, but I feel like there is a financial payout that seems to be showing up within nine months that comes through, um, it's not a job, it feels like a payout. That could even be a payout of a, an estate, something that's sold, like, a, like sold and you benefit, but there's something about your finances that will benefit from that um, within about seven months, okay? Okay. Well, thank you, my lovely lady, and I wish you love and light. Next, I've got Sonia, beautiful Sonia in the UK. Sonia, my name is Bernice. How can I be of service to you today? A spirit reading, please, if you can. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? A spirit message. Oh, just some spirit messages. Let's see what shows up with you, Sonia, my beautiful lady. Yeah. Um, I want you just to bring to mind um, loved ones around you. Just bring to mind. And let's see what, I have a few minutes. Let's see what, okay, there's a beautiful matriarch who shows up as a, as, you got two mother figures actually that show up. Two matriarchs. Oh. There's two women that show up around you. And I feel like they could have been sisters almost. Like um, two women already gone. And a yeah. man that seems younger, I'm sorry. I, it keeps kind of cutting out. So I apologize if I'm cutting you off. That's my bad. It's okay. It's a bit of a delay. Um, and so I'm going to, I only have about five minutes, so I'm going to chat it up. Okay? Okay. Yeah. You have this beautiful lady. There's a matriarch. There's two mother figures. I feel like it's a, a matriarch and a sister figure together. And that there's also a man who is younger. And I feel like, um, I, and I do think that I keep thinking of St. George. Um, I don't know why, but I keep thinking that in my head. The flag of St. George. And islands. And um, you're happy to be able to travel to some islands coming up. And it feels, it feels quite pleasant. And that I, I imagine with this one woman, I see a strong A. I see... Also, a rose in her hand, um, rose in her hand, that there is um, you and two other, um, what could be like siblings or family. There's people that seem to be coming together in October. October feels like a really important month. I feel like there is a man um, that comes across as like a brother-in-law, brother figure, 
something about this that um that don't you not to have any worries about him that not to have any worries about him that i feel like um things turn out okay and i feel like <clears throat> um things turn out okay for this man this young man i'm calling him a young man <laughs> not an old guy uh but things seem to turn out okay for him there's almost like i almost want to correct myself and say he's like a son because i keep calling him a young man and that something turns out okay for him what has been challenging what has been a challenge actually turns out to be good and that there is someone um right around you who has a very sudden change sonia very sudden change in work or a sudden change in their um ability to work something changes very suddenly and it it turns out to be quite good they could need to rely on you they could be telling you about this they could be coming to you with this and yeah. i feel like something turns out quite good for them um in in this in this change that yeah. um where you have felt and i mean everything i say with love where you have felt very alone um because i i feel like you could have a lot of demands on you but i feel like this woman who passed was like a like so close to you and who can you talk to yeah. now and almost like if you could just talk to her and i feel like yeah. she hears you she does and in those moments and i feel like if you put the radio on she would talk to you through your radio or she would she would um come through come through a sound in your place and where you live like through the radio like i would have my tea and i would listen and she yeah. seems to show up because i feel like you really miss talking to her and i just want you to know that she knows that you've had you've had these struggles and i feel like you were very appreciated for everything you did because i don't know that that you you were able to hear that from her or that you were wondering if you were very much yeah and that um i do feel like i don't know she loves the notion of the birds in the window i don't know why that is important as well but like yeah. i could see the birds in the window and she'd love to kind of look out and see the birds in the window and that image of the roses aren't lost on me either almost like beautiful fresh roses and the birds in the window and i feel like she really loves that she'll show up in your house if you just kind of sit and listen to the radio there's something about maybe a, a favorite program she would like to hear will come on and she's right yeah. there and you are loved and thank you and thank you for finding me and thank you for finding A1R Psychic Radio and i hope to talk to you again one day in the future and we'll see everyone else next week for Psychic Tuesday and thank you for tuning in